can be it can be a USB drive that someone finds on the parking lot and says, mm-hmm. "Oh, I wonder what's on, what this is." And I'm going to go in the office and plug it in and see if I can return it to the rightful owner. You know, we we, we hear about that when people do pen testing, right? When they do exactly. physical, pen, they'll drop a, a USB stick and see if an employee will go and plug that in. Yes, yes, and so you know, the cyber threat intelligence is part of an overall program. You know, right. we're not going to replace, you know, virus, uh, you know, uh, you know, virus software or or firewalls or just good, you know, good hygiene, in, right. in, you know, in, in anybody's business or organization. This is just one more service, one more tool that can make your other defenses more effective because we're going to be blacklisting these things. And that is like game over. Right. And the thing is, is, you know, the the techniques and the command and controls are always changing. There are more bots out there than you can count. And the thing is, is the adversaries don't sleep. They're working around the time zones, around the globe. And I early on, I would talk to people and they'd say, oh, we've got everything we need, Jim. You know, thanks for coming by. But we're, we're OK. And it's like. You don't know what the next 14 year old kid in his parents' basement in, you know, Cleveland, Ohio, or some uh, PhD graduate from uh, Petersburg University in uh, in Russia is going to figure out how to untie the Gordian knot. Right. And that's the thing. This is this is this is a dynamic. This is a dynamic adversary. They're dynamic adversaries. Right. And so you as a, as a consumer, as a business person, as an administrator, you have to continue to stay in front of the threats. Right. And unless you're getting intelligence on the threats that are targeting you, you're really going into a fight with one arm tied behind your back. For sure. You know? And, and I, I'm not going to go down the whole OSINT versus uh, proprietary, but if it's OSINT, even the bad guys know that they're listed in there. <laughs> so, so before you go on there, just as we got some new people on here, oh, what, is OSINT, right. what does OSINT okay. stand for? Uh, open source intelligence. And, and what is that exactly? Well, that's the kind of uh, intelligence and info and data that uh, the big providers will will provide. And if you are using, a, you know, like a Fortinet or a, a Cisco, you know, box you know, you're going to get updates and they're going to be updating you with things that, that they have found that their suppliers to the supply information them have found, but it's just the general stuff. It's right. not what's targeting you. Right. And I, I have this conversation a couple times a day with people. It's like, you need to know who's targeting your company, not the threats that are global. Global threats are good, and the the basic equipment and services that every company buys, you're getting covered by that. But you're not you're not getting the information on what is exactly targeting you. For years, I used the silly story of the Siberian sleigh driver. He doesn't care about all the wolves in in the world. He doesn't care about all the wolves in Siberia. He only cares about that one wolf that's chasing his sled. Right. And that is about as easy as I can explain it. People need to be concerned about what is targeting them, not targeting everybody else in the world. Right.